good morning students today we will discuss about radiative recombination and non radiative recombination mechanisms in semiconductors or we can call it as carrier generation and recombination processes so before going to this topic we should have the clear idea of semiconductor basic band structure of semiconductor so in the earlier classes already we have discussed band structure of semiconductor so if we see the band structure of semiconductor so here semiconductor consists of band the lowest band we call it as valency band and topmost level topmost level topmost band we call it as conduction band the gap between valency band and conduction band we call it as forbidden energy gap so this is forbidden energy gap now we know that at t is equal to 0 kelvin means if we don't give any temperature valency band valency band is filled with valency band is filled with valency electrons so this valency band is filled with valency electrons now at t is equal to 0 kelvin conduction band is empty there are no electrons in the conduction band so when energy is supplied when thermal energy is supplied means at t greater than 0 kelvin when we provide temperature here what happens is electrons electrons in the valency band move from valency band to conduction band so electrons are moving from valency band to conduction band leaving vacant sites here they are leaving vacant sites in the valency band these vacant sites we call it as holes so these we call it as holes and these we call it as free electrons or conduction electrons so here they are creating electron hole pairs here electron hole pairs are created this creation of electron hole pairs we call it as carrier generation this we call it as carrier generation so when thermal energy is supplied what happens electrons jumps from valency band to conduction band leaving holes in valency band so this is creating electron hole pair this process we call it as carrier generation now so this is the band structure this is the explanation based on band structure if we see bond structure so see here what happens they are bonded these valency electrons are bonded together with covalent bonds so when we supply energy what happens this electron the covalent bond will be broken and this electron comes out of the bond leaving holes in covalent bond so this we call it as carrier generation this is the explanation based on bond structure and this is the explanation based on band structure so this we call it as carrier generation now these electrons are free to move in conduction band so these electrons see here these holes electrons will be converted into holes when they jump from valency band to conduction band so these electrons are free to move in conduction band and these holes are free to move in valency band so after see here these electrons may collide with each other otherwise these electrons may collide with lattice so when they collide with other electrons or when they collide with other lattice so what happens is these electrons fall back to means these electrons reoccupies its state of hole means it may these electron may fall to this hole or otherwise these electrons and these holes may combine with each other through traps so when electron combines with hole what happens is they'll recombine and they emit they emit light or heat based on semiconductor when this electron recombines with this hole they may emit light or heat 
based on semiconductors this we call it as recombination this we call it as recombination so what is carrier generation when thermal energy is given electron move from valency band to conduction band it creates electron hole pair this we call it as carrier generation but after some time the electron loses its energy and this electron in the conduction band recombines with its state of hole it is reoccupying its state of hole this process we call it as recombination when electron is falling from conduction band to valency band it need to lose energy so it will be losing energy in the form of light or heat okay so we'll go for the explanation so see here whatever i explained with the diagram that will be explained with the help of theory also so see here semiconductors to the semiconductors when thermal energy is supplied what happens covalent bonds will be broken and leads to generation of two charge carriers here two charge carriers are generated one is electron electron will be generated in the conduction band see here electron will be generated in the conduction band and hole will be created in the valency band this process is called as electron hole pair generation or this is also called as carrier generation now see here this process can be represented like this covalent bond plus thermal energy gives rise to when you give thermal energy to this covalent bond what happens this covalent bond will be broken and it gives electron hole pair this process we call it as carrier generation now if we go for recombination see here after generation what happens the charge carriers are they are free to move they are free to move in conduction band and valency band so these electrons move in the conduction band and holes move in the valency band which which flows a current means which results in conduction now the electron in the conduction band see here the electron in the conduction band after some time it loses its energy it loses its energy due to collision between electrons and due collision between lattice so they will fall to valency band means due to collisions with other particle in the lattice and fall to valency band so when this free electron falls to valency band and it combines with hole that process we call it as we call it as recombination which can be shown in this figure so which can be shown in this figure this we results in carrier generation and recombination now so see here when recombination occurs what happens the free electron enters into ruptured covalent bond means again the free electron is reoccupying means again it is coming back to its state of hole so here see here what happens here this electron is occupying its state of hole means it is rebridging its rebridging its structure again means this electron is coming back to its covalent bond so it is rebridging its covalent bond okay so see here electron plus hole again recombine to give covalent bond and excess energy is released this excess energy is released in the form of light or heat so this excess energy this excess energy is released in the form of light light means photon photon or it may release heat we call it as phonon so depending on the semiconductor it may emit light or heat means depending on the recombination process depending on the recombination process okay it can emit light or heat now we see the recombination process so when electron is recombining so see here when electron is recombining recombining with hole this recombination this recombination takes place in two ways this recombination takes place in two ways so it takes place in two ways one is radiative radiative recombination and second one is 
non radiative recombination so how many recombinations are there there are two types of recombinations one is radiative recombination and another one is non radiative recombination radiative recombination radiative recombination means electron in the conduction band next valency band a hole in the valency band see here radiative recombination is a process in which electron in the conduction band recombines directly with hole in the valency band means it reoccupies its state of hole means directly it falls to its own state okay so when this type of re recombination takes place it emits light it emits light means it emits a photon okay excess energy is emitted in the form of photon this type of recombination we call it as radiative recombination now see here as electrons are direct as electrons in the conduction band directly combines with holes in the valency band these type of semiconductors we call it as direct band gap semiconductors so these type of semiconductors we call it as direct band gap semiconductors so see here as they are falling falling to its original state it takes less time for the recombination so here recombination time is less next which type of semiconductors radiative recombination takes place so the semiconductor should exist in compound form means it takes place this type of radiative recombination takes place in compound semiconductors that is example gallium arsenide indium phosphorus gallium aluminium arsenide etc so these type of semiconductors are used in a laser and leds see here for example if i take a led light emitting diode it should emit light when it emits light when it is emitting light when electron directly falls to hole this takes place in radiative recombination so this is called as radiative recombination now when we go for non radiative recombination so see here if i see non radiative recombination see here it is a process in which electron in the conduction band see here electron in the conduction band and hole is present in valency band okay in indirect band gap semiconductors what happens is these electrons and holes combines through traps traps means energy levels what happens is here electron is present so this hole accept this electron and hole is created next this electron comes and combines with this hole through traps means through energy levels okay and excess energy due to this recombination excess energy is released in the form of heat or phonon phonon or heat means vibrations so here electrons in the conduction band indirectly combines with holes in valency band through traps traps means middle energy levels energy levels present in forbidden band due to defects there will be some energy levels present in Uh, in the middle of forbidden band so in that levels they combine so these type of semiconductors we call it as indirect band gap semiconductors here recombination time is more because they are not directly combining with each other so recombination time is more here semiconductors exist in elemental form indirect band gap semiconductors or non radiative recombination takes place in semiconductors which are existing in elemental form example silicon and germanium so what are the applications we can use this type of semiconductors means this type of non radiative recombination can be done in ldrs photodiodes optical detectors okay so this is about carrier generation and recombination and radiative and non radiative combination processes thank you